Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create pop-out animation effect in PowerPoint 2013. The beautiful pop-out animation effect you will learn to create today looks like this. On a click, I introduce the box which contains the logos of two organizations. Of course, I couldn't resist uh, branding this particular box with my structure training program. I talk about this program towards the end of this video for a few seconds. Anyway, now we have the box introduced. Then on a click, I have the first logo shown. Then the second logo pops out of the box. This is the effect you will learn to create today. Isn't this beautiful? Now, there are a couple of things you require to make this effect work. First, you need to have a traced out box. Now, I'm not going to show you how to trace a box from a photo. There is already a video that I've created and you can click on the link here to go to that particular video which shows you how to trace with PowerPoint. It is one of the PowerPoint tip series. Now, I'm going to assume that you've gone to that tutorial, learned how to trace the box that I'm going to work with here and then you're going to continue with this particular tutorial. Now, with that assumption, I have this particular traced box. The benefit of a traced box like this is you can group the objects the way you want. For example, I can move the individual pieces to suit my requirement and that is going to come in quite handy for this particular effect. The next thing is these two logos. Of course, you can have your own company's logos here or you can have any photo or anything to pop out of the box. The only condition here is the size of the things that are going to pop out of the box naturally need to be slightly smaller than the box itself. Now with that said, I'm going to start from scratch and I'm going to show you how to create the beautiful pop out animation. First let us go to animation pane so that you can see whatever that I'm going to do here clearly. Now I'm going to start by animating these logos. I'm going to select these two logos, right click and bring to front so they are right up front and in the top layer. Now let me move this right here. Now as you can see, once this particular logo is inside the box, it is not visible uh, to the audience. So that is the point here. Now I have placed here. Then I'm going to add a motion path animation. So let us go to the animations option here. Then go to motion paths and click on custom path animation. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to start from here, the center point of this particular uh, logo. And then I'm going to draw the path that it is going to take and I'm going to define the end position where it is going to end up being. So this is how the animation is going to be. Now it is not as exciting as the one that I had shown. The reason is, the speed here is not fast enough. So I'm going to reduce the duration. Instead of the two, which is the default option, I'm going to reduce it to one second. That automatically adds a little bit of spring to the animation. Then let us go to the effect options by going to the small arrow here and effect options. Now you can see here there is the smooth start, smooth end and bounce end. I'm going to go to this option called bounce end and I'm going to give this a little bit of bounce and I'm going to have no smooth start. So smooth start zero, smooth end zero, and bounce end somewhere in the middle, and I'm going to say okay. Now what this does is, as soon as this particular logo comes and lands here, it is going to have a little bit of a bounce, and that makes it very interesting. Now, if you are not happy with the way in which this animation is happening, the path of the animation, you can always right click on the path of the animation and go to edit points, Instead of having the sharp turn here, I can right click on the black square and make it smooth point so that there is a gradual movement here. I can always move this to suit the trajectory that I want. I can always work with the handles to define the curve. I can work with this just as I would work with any of the line curves. Now with this in place, I have the first animation done. The next thing I'm going to do is to have a spin added to this animation. So I'm going to select the logo, go to add animation. Don't choose any of the animations here. If you choose any animation here, then the existing animation will get replaced. So you need to add animation to an already chosen animation. So let us go to add animation and go to the spin option here. And as you can see here, the duration is fairly long. I'm going to have this half of 
the earlier duration. As you can see here, the custom path animation is for one second. I am going to have this for 0.5 seconds. There is a reason why I do this and you will understand once we finish this particular animation. I am going to have this happen with previous and then I am going to select the animation event, go to the small arrow here to the right, go to effect options and then I am going to say instead of clockwise, I am going to choose counterclockwise because it's going to spin this way and this one is going to spin clockwise and move it this way. So that is the reason why I have chosen counterclockwise here and then I am going to say OK. Now let us go to the slideshow mode and see how this works. You have the logo starting from here and then on a click it comes out spinning and then with a bounce along this custom path. Beautiful. Now I am going to apply the same animation for this one as well. I don't really have to go through the entire rigmarole once again. I am just going to pick this particular object, go to the animation option here and click on the animation painter and I am going to click on this new object. As you can see here the same animation is copied onto that one. I am going to place this right above the earlier logo and you can see that this also has the same trajectory as the earlier one. I am going to select this and I am going to move this to the right because that is where it is going to end. Now you can see that everything else is exactly the same. You have the same custom path, now the custom path is to the right and it is of one second duration and this one which is the spin animation is also in the same way in half a second. Now the small little change that I am going to make here is go to effect options and I am going to call this clockwise. As I said earlier this is going to spin clockwise here and the earlier one is going to spin counterclockwise. Beautiful. Now this is done and let us go to the slideshow mode and see both the animations in action. First one, second one. Beautiful. Now the last thing that is required for us to do is to select the outer shells of the box, right click and bring to front so you cannot see the two logos that are inside the box. Now if you want, you can introduce the box with its contents on a click. So I am going to select all these elements by clicking and dragging across all these elements, go to add animation and I am going to have them come in with a float in option. So that is how they are going to enter the scene. And you can see I have used add animation. I have not used the animation here. Because if I had used the animation here, then you would have seen that these animations would have got already replaced. So I have chosen to use this option here. Now if I want, it can be much faster than one second. It can be in 0.5 seconds. Now this has to happen right up front. So I am going to move all of them at the top. Now the way that needs to be read is on a click all the elements of the box and the contents inside the box are going to be introduced. Then on a click the first logo is going to come here. Then on a click the second logo is going to come here. Let us see how the entire animation plays. Let us go to slideshow mode. On a click box and its contents are introduced. Then on a click the first logo is unveiled. Then the second one. Awesome, isn't it? It is that easy to make your slides look attractive once you understand PowerPoint the right way. If you liked the clarity of my explanation and the creativity of the effects that I have been showcasing all the while in Presentation Process channel, then you will really love our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program. It is a structured way to master PowerPoint. Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program is arguably the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online. You can find more details about Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program by clicking on the No More button here. And by the way, I hope you liked the tutorial that I taught you in this video. If you did, then I have a wonderful treat for you. I have put together a beautiful mini training called Learn 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas to make your slides slick and interesting. If you are a business presenter, like say you are a business owner, a business executive, a trainer or a consultant, then you will find this course extremely useful. You can sign up for this mini training by clicking on the button here. You can also sign up for the mini training by clicking on the link in the description area below this video. So go ahead, click on the button here, sign up for the mini training and take your business presentation slides to a whole new level. I'll see you inside the mini training.